Today's tale is set in the vicinity of Hammersmith Churchyard, West London. The time. In those cold winter months when the nights grow long and dark, and a chill in the air could well convince one of the supernatural. In other words, between November 1803 and January 1804. On a number of occasions, a spectral figure has been spotted. Described as tall and all in white, the Hammersmith ghost has attacked a number of late-night passers-by near the graveyard. The newspapers reported the rumour that two women, one elderly and one pregnant, were attacked on two separate occasions. In both cases, the women were physically assaulted and fainted at the attack. If we're to believe the newspapers, both women were escorted to their homes, whereupon they passed away from the shock of it all a few days later. I'd take such claims with a pinch of salt, but a couple of assaults definitely did occur. One cold winter night, a wagoner was taking a carriage full of passengers home, when the revenant jumped out startling him. Sent veering off course, he was lucky not to have killed somebody. Some in the community were convinced Hammersmith was haunted by the ghost of a young man who had committed suicide by slashing his own throat a year earlier. The man had been buried in the churchyard.